So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I should be working on my game, but uh, going through a little bit of RSI today and I'm going to give it a little rest. So what we are going to do is we are going to fix this. This is a macro pad that I made maybe three, four months ago and uh, it worked great. But uh, on my last day of work, uh, normally at the end of the day, I unplug the USB cable, but I was so happy that I just threw it into my bag. And when I came home later, found out that I broke the little connector there. So we're gonna try and solder it back together and maybe retape everything and make it look nice because my wife actually wants to use it for her job. So should be like a nice little diversion. And uh, let's do it. So I really don't know how the audio is gonna come out on this, but uh, let's give it a try. Actually, I think I'm gonna fix another part of it too, because I remember the, the light, the blue light is not working. So I'll go ahead and try and fix that as well. Okay, but first, before we fix the broke part, we gotta cut it open. What was that? What was that? What the heck is that? It's very cool. Wow, it's a mess. It's so pretty. Um, you can just see it's one of these Arduino, uh, what do they call it? Pro Mega or something? Pro Mega 32, I think. I'm not like some super smart guy, so I just basically, maybe that's why. Uh, basically, I just followed some YouTube tutorial <laughs> and uh, easily set it up. I know there's like a different way of doing this, but uh, I didn't, I think it had diodes. I didn't have any diodes, so I just made that. Anyways, let, the, let us uh, get on to the fixing. So let's use the old hot coal. Wow, there's a lot of blue. A lot of blue in this video. Don't get too depressed. We'll just plug this guy in and let him heat up. I guess while we're waiting for that to kind of heat up, you can look at how beautiful, how, what a wonderful job I did. Wow, amazing. So basically what this is, is uh, I wanted to have like different sets, or uh, what do you call them? What do, you, what do you call it, like a set? Basically, you could press this escape button and then you could change the functions of all these. So you could have like four different sets. Or really, you could have as many as you want, but I really I only use, end up using two, but it would be denoted by a different color from this RGB bad boy right there, which I keep going in and out of. Look at that, look at that great, great job. Oh man. Even this is blue, jeez, what the heck? Even the resistors are blue. What kind of crazy world do we live in? Let's try and make some magic, shall we? I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I guess just push this down. Okay, maybe it all works. Oh, it's been a while since I've soldered. Gotta have your, your Hakko, this thingy. I'm push it. I don't know if I need to really push it down at this point, but I don't know if that's connected. I don't know if that's connected. Wow. So, let's have a look at the beautiful work I just did. Kind of looks like it's okay. I think I fixed it. Only one way to find out. Time to plug it in and find out if she works. Okay, so got it all ready. And uh, we're gonna plug it in here. If this works, this light should show up. Well, at least light would show up if the light works. And let's see. Well, that's a good sign, light came on. Sounds like it got activated. Now, if I remember correctly, this button 
It's kind of hard to show, but I think this was my click button. I think this was paste. Oh, yep, there it is. Paste, paste, paste. Wow. I don't remember what this was. Oh, this is right click. So right click. And what was this? Hmm? Oh, enter. Enter. Delete. Undo, maybe? I don't know what that was, but I think I had four different ones. There's a green and then a blue, which is we'll have to fix. And then uh, purple, but uh, clearly that's not quite the case. Anyways, looks like it works. So that's great news. So let's uh, see if we can fix that blue light real quick. So I don't exactly know what's the problem, but I think it's just a loose connection. Ew. I just pressed the wrong button to get back to. I think it's just a loose connection. So I'm just gonna fiddle with things and see if it pops on. This is not coming on at all. I don't have like a multimeter, so I really can't tell if, if that's the case. Hmm, I don't know. I thought it was just a loose connection, but it does not appear to be the case. <laughs> I don't really want to redo that, but I guess I will. Dang it. If I have another one. So by some stroke of luck, I'll get out of here. I did actually happen to have another one. So I'm going to unsolder this mess and try and add this one. It's also the first time I've ever used this thing, so we'll see how that goes. Ah. Mercilessly pull. Whew. Well, we did something. Oh well, let's try and get a little funky donkey. Though I guess I should probably put this back in place first, really. And then try and solder again. Welcome to the world of Crow Electronics. Wow, what a beautiful job. Beautiful. Anyways, let's see if uh, it explodes. Oh, it needs to have this on there. I know the connections are loose, but uh, let's just see what happens. Nothing happens. Should be like some kind of light, right, Shirley? Hmm. But why? But why? So what I'm gonna do is try something else out. Actually, let's see if this, see if this works. This is the old one. Is it possible my new one doesn't work? I think it's quite possible my new one doesn't work. See, I'm getting a light there, but... Hmm. I don't see any weird thing on there. Could be that it just doesn't work, I guess. Nothing. Hmm. Guess I'll have to put this back on there. So bad news, I don't actually have another one, so... I guess she's only going to get three or two colors and maybe three colors, I guess then. <clears throat> so I guess we'll just put this bad boy back in there since I had no other choice. I'm just going to check real quick to make sure it appears to be. Okay, good enough. Let's resolder this monkey. So in light of recent events, I'm going to be give, doing a subscriber giveaway. If you're so cool, if you say, hey, Micro, you're cool, you could win chance to win this broken LED. So think about that. Wow, such value. 
really cool that I get to re-solder this again because you know what I love doing? I love soldering. Wow. Wow. Ventilated room. <laughs> I laugh, it's such a funny notion. And I'm just gonna connect this real quick. And we'll see if it works. It would help if I plugged it in correctly. Yay, it works again. But blue is dead. Anyways, well, that's kind of the story of that. So now that we got this fixed, I'm gonna go ahead and re, I guess rip off all the paint, or not paint, but the tape, and make it look nice. And you get to witness that. That's not too bad. It's looking like Sonic. <laughs> it's like a weird Sonic calculator. Perfect. Now we got to find the things to cut. So I got this. Perfect. Now where's the light? Feeling where the light. Hmm, I don't know where the light's at. So what are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna poke a hole in, see what happens. Oh. Why didn't I think of that? Somebody's texting me. Stop it. Why didn't I think about that? It's right there. Gosh darn it. Now there's a hole.
kind of looks cool that way, then, to be honest. Maybe I'll leave it like that. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Maybe I'll patch this up. That'll be our little secret. Wow. Looking pretty good. Oh, God. Did you already break? There it is, brand new. What an excellent Sonic macro pad. She's gonna be ecstatic. So this is it. I think it came out pretty good actually. Not the best uh, wrapping job or uh, the internals, probably not the best, but uh, I think it came out pretty good. And uh, you tell me what you think. Do you like this kind of video? Is it kind of interesting? I don't know, but uh, I know my wife is going to like this thing, so that's a plus. At any rate, uh, I'll see you guys later, and uh, on to have more fun. See ya.